Hey everybody, it's Steve here, uh, and Oscar. Uh, apparently it's bath time <laughs> for him. Um, while it's bath time for him, uh, it's time for me to go do my laundry. Um, I'm probably not going to record while I'm driving, only because, like I said before, that last video you could tell my car is getting louder. It really is, and um, it's just, uh, it drowned me out, so I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, I'm going to go do my laundry, and I'll, um, Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. At least it looks like it. Anyway, um, I'll see you uh, when we get there, okay? Alright. So, um, got the laundry going, um, got my coffee, you know, uh, uh, all is well right now, so. How boring. What? How boring this is. Anyway. Um, I guess the one thing is that I'm having like some clothing issues right now. Um, first thing is, is I've got a sweatshirt on under uh, my coat, and so the hood like bun bunches up like under it. That feels kind of uncomfortable. Then uh, this is too much information, I know, but I hate underwear, you know, boxer shorts that that don't have like some kind of like a button or something like on the fly because if there's not then you just got this like huge flap and you know leave it to you know my penis to find a way to get through the flaps and then it's like out and it's like rubbing against my inside of my jeans and that doesn't feel good you know can we <laughs> but then when you like when you're buying it if it's in like a package and whatnot you can't tell you know if there's a button on it or not you know, just a little bit more protection would be nice, you know? <laughs> you didn't need to know that, I know. Anyway. So, as you can see, it's another, you know, gloomy day. The other thing is, I'm, I bought new shoes yesterday. And they always feel so weird. I mean, new shoes are almost, like, uncomfortable. You know, you gotta really break them in, you know? I guess you're just so used to my old, like, you know, dilapidated pair that, you know, that's what feels normal to me, but, you know, having, like, brand new shoes on, like, it feels weird. I mean, it affects driving, too, you know, stepping on the pedals, it, it, it feels strange when you got new shoes on. So, uh, yeah, I'm having some clothing issues, okay? Um, God, I, I, yesterday, when I was, like, I, I woke up, like, bitter and miserable. I mean, you know, what else is new? But, I mean, exceptionally so exceptionally so. And I guess maybe today I still am a little bit too, I don't know. You know, when I, when I went, uh, when I went shopping yesterday, I bought these shoes, um, you know, it's that time of the year for charity and whatnot, and, you know, before anyone says it, you know, I'm not, I'm not anti-charity, you know, if I've got you know, an extra buck or something, which I really don't these days, but I mean, I'll, I'll give, but here's my problem, okay? <laughs> let, let's say you go to the store, and, and then we'll, it's Christmas time, so we'll use the whole, you know, bell ringer thing with the kettle outside. Let's say that you walk by and you throw up, throw money in. Okay, great. Um, you know, they wish you a Merry Christmas, and they're appreciative, and they hold the door for you sometimes, okay. Then you go back to like the same store, or even a different one, and they got the person outside, you know, ringing the bell, and they got the kettle, they're looking for a donation, but you already gave. But that person doesn't know that, you know? They just see you walk by and not give them anything, and then you, you get like, you know, a look. And every time I say that, you know, you get the look, I don't know if I'm actually getting a, a look. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I do get the look, but there's other times where it's just in my head, and, um, you know, and then they, you know, they don't say anything to you, and they don't hold, not that I want anyone to hold the door for me, but it just, it kind of strikes me as funny that, you know, you give money and therefore you're special and will hold the door. But anyway, m my point is that each time you go to the same store, there's a different person there, and they don't know that you already gave money. So, they, they treat you as though you're, you know, some tightwad. You know, and I feel like I should, like, explain, you know, why, you know, or I already gave, you know, because they don't know that. 
also the other day, like kind of like on the corner of like my street, there were like people standing outside, like three people, and they had signs on, you know, saying, you know, donate money, you know, to kids with cancer. Okay, that's a great cause. Okay, but. And they had, like, you know, buckets in their hands for people to drive by and give money. How do I know that that's where that money's going to? I don't know that. Who's to say that these aren't just some, like, random people out on the street who made up signs to lure people into giving them money, and then they're just, like, going to pocket the money and do whatever they want with it? You know, I know I'm distrusting, but I just can't help but wonder. I mean, is the money I give this person really going to go to that charity? I don't know that. So I'm at the store the other day, and one thing I like about having a couple weekdays off is that usually, typically, most people are at work, so things are a little bit more quiet, and the roads aren't as busy, and there's not as many people in stores and whatnot. But you'll always have at least one or two, or, or a couple. And they always find ways to, like, you know, just irritate me. You know, I don't want to get back on the whole kids thing again, but if you can't keep your kids in line, then you shouldn't take them out of the house. You know, I know it's easy for me to say, I don't have any. Great, you know. You know, I'm not doing my earthly duty by, you know, producing children. <laughs> That's a whole other topic. But anyway, you just kids are, like, just out of control. If you can't keep them in line, then, then stay the fuck home. Then you got the scooter people. I mean, don't get me started. I th have I talked about this before? I don't know if I have or not. You got the scooter people. You see these people in these scooters, and they're perfectly capable. It's not like they're paralyzed. I think to me, the only reason that you should be in any kind of a wheelchair is if you cannot walk. You know, you see these people get up out of these things, you know, and they're always these giant fat people. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just saying that, you know, being fat doesn't make you handicapped. It doesn't make you crippled. You know, that that's your own fault. You know, but they, they, they use these scooters and they think that they, like, own everything. Well, whatever it is, the road. I was, I was about to say own the road, but they're not on the road. But they think that they own the surroundings. You know, I've almost been, like, run over by those things in the past. It's Or, you know, not run over, but, like, over my foot or something. Or I have to, like, get out of the way because, oh, here comes a scooter person. I really feel like I've talked about this before, so, but obviously it really irritates me, so here we go again. You know, the damn scooter people. Who gets it, you know, I, I'd like a scooter too, you know? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm tired, I'm not in the best shape. You know, walking for any length of time wears me out. Can I get a scooter? Well, no. Because I'm a grown freaking man who, who can stand on his own two feet. And until the day that I can't, I'm, you're not going to see me driving around in a little scooter. Fucking scooter people. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, I was just really bitter yesterday and kind of miserable. And, and I, I just felt it, you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of like when you feel just that, it like building up inside of you, like to the point where it's like going to just not explode, but you, you feel you're like... My levels. I always refer to my levels. I always have levels. Um, you know, whether it be you know coffee or you know or smoking. You know, my 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 levels are getting low. You know, gotta 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 fill up the tank. But I also have levels when it comes to emotions. I guess everybody does really, but I always refer to them as such. You know, there there's different levels. There's different planes of of any particular emotion. Um, you know, I don't know how else to describe it, or how it, the level of an emotion will just change, um, you know, like first thing in the morning, you know, I'll wake up in a certain mood, you know, and when nothing has yet happened to cause that mood, I don't know, it was kind of a rough week at work, and, and I'm not going to get into that, obviously, but. I mean, one thing that did happen here is something I can talk about. Um, 
Um, we have like a, kind of like a employee of the month, which it's not because they pick four people, and it's not employee of the month because they actually leave the pictures up for three months. But I don't know how what else to call. I I refer to it as the Wall of Fame, but I don't think that's right. But they pick four employees every three months to take their picture, write a little bit about how good they are, and they and framed pictures and they put them up on the wall. Well, I got picked, and I hate having my picture taken. I can't stand having my picture taken. Now this is a nice gesture. It's you know, it's my place of employment recognizing me and acknowledging me, and that's great. I appreciate it. Thank you. But uh, I don't like having my picture taken. So this was a while back that they did this. Uh, you know, they just put the picture up the other day, but they took they took my picture a while back. And I just don't like having my picture taken. I don't like the the fake posing. You know, okay, now stand here and look over here and, and smile. And it, it's fake. It's forced. You know, and then he was like this professional photographer that they got. They brought in, and he's like positioning me, and you know, move your shoulder here, and look over here. And, well, the final picture, I mean, it looks like I'm like leaned like off to the side. It, it's just, it's not a good picture at all. And now it's like going to be up on the wall for like three months, and I get to look at it every day. You know, but you know, it's a good gesture. It's, I, I appreciate the, the idea behind it. You know, and I, and I'm grateful. But um, but me in pictures, you know, if you're gonna get a picture of me, you better do it when I'm not looking or when I don't know. Of course, then that turns out horrible too because you're in some awkward. So I guess the bottom line is, don't take a picture of me at all, basically, because I don't like it. You know, I mean, I've got issues. I I think that I'm ugly. I I. You know, I kind of like. I try not to. I, I usually don't look at people. That's one of my big things is I don't look at people. I'm very unobservant, and I think one of the reasons why is that if I ever do, really like wherever I am, if I actually take a look around me, I, I, I always feel like everyone is not just better looking than me, but like they're more, well here's that word again, normal, you know, I feel like they're they're better than me. So that's why I don't really take note of people, I don't look at people. Half the time if you were to ask me to describe you know, a couple people that were in a room that I was just in, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would not be able to do it because I don't look at them. You know, head down, and if it, my head's not down, it, I'm, I'm looking through people. Because I just don't think I'm, like, on the same level as them or something. You know? So I was kind of doing that yesterday, too, where I actually kind of forced myself to like look around me but then that was a mistake because I saw people who I felt were either I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say I, I you know and the Christmas music was playing and I don't like Christmas music and it's December already and and um, I figured I would do this video this way today because apparently the weather is going to probably start taking a turn um, it looks like it's going to be it's going to be dipping down a little bit, and some of the S word is probably going to be flying around. Yeah, no, not shit. Snow is what I'm talking about. I'm sure there'll be some shit flying around, too, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to check on my clothes, and um, this is the laundromat where they've got the Mario Brothers machine, too. Well, it, it's a machine that's got, like, 20 of the old games on it. I've mentioned it, I know. Um, it's got Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers and Centipede and Donkey Kong and all that. It, it's got like 20 plus games on the machine. There's two of them actually, so there's like probably a good 40 games in there. But I always play Mario Brothers and I try to keep beating my high score on there. The only downside to that is that the initials keep changing. You know, when you get a high score and you put your initials in, the next time I come here, the score is still, my high score is still there, but my initials are gone. And AKI will be next to it. It's like all the top scores will have AKI next to it. Or like the top three or something will have those initials. So that's kind of frustrating. Because I can look and say, well, that's my high score. You know, I got a picture of it on my phone. I know that's mine, but my initials are gone uh, from next to it. You know? Not that it matters, I guess, because I know. You know, for months my high score has been up there. But it just doesn't have my initials next to it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go um, switch my laundry into the dryer 
and maybe I'll be back to talk some more, okay? Yeah, so that's how uh, foggy and steamy uh, my, my windshield's getting right now. You can't even see through it almost from sitting here. I mean, it's already just from the mist of the rain and whatnot, but also from my breath fogging everything up. Ooh, that was probably way too close on, my, on the old face there. Anyway, so I was just sitting here like watching people drive and it's one thing when you're driving and you can see how crazy everybody else drives but it's another thing to like you know sit back and watch and you can just see what lunatics they are and the, the risks that they take. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, I, to me, driving, of course, everything scares me, let's face it, but, you know, driving makes me nervous, um, especially when winters come in and the snow, and I hate driving in it, and it just doesn't seem to phase anybody else, you know? You talk to people about, you know, winter and the snow is coming, they're like, you know, happy about it. It's like, seriously? I'm, I dread it. I dread it every year, and especially driving in it. I absolutely hate driving in it. I don't know. People are just crazy. Um, the things that they do on the road are just are, are just crazy. I guess they. Uh, <clears throat> I guess they just don't have the same you know fear of death that I do. You know. You know, there's another there's another big one of mine. You know, on the list of things that I'm afraid of. The idea of dying. Really does it scares me. Let's face it just the finality of it all and just how everything that you know and everything you've done is is just gone one day and and it's the un, it's the unexpected nature of it too it's the fact that you never know when i think if anyone were to say to me hey you know do you want to i can tell you exactly you know when you're going to die would you want to know yeah i think i would because that would eliminate at least the you know the unexpected part of it you know and you could somehow prepare as much as you could, you know. I'm sure that, like, the few, you know, days, weeks, or whatever leading up to the day, you'd probably start, you know, freaking out a bit. I know I would, but in the long run, I, I think I would want to know. You know? You know, these are the things I think about, you know. If I ever... It's one of those things that when you start thinking about it, you've got to, like, push it from your mind because you, you just don't want to. You know, if I really stop and think about the whole concept of, of death, it, it, it's a scary thing. You know, so I, I mean, I know I come off as like really, you know, miserable in these videos and whatnot, but, um, you know, I've had people here and there through my throughout my life, you know, accuse me of being, not accuse me, but, you know, or suggest that I'm way too depressed or whatever. But not so much that I want to die anytime soon. I don't. I don't. The, the idea of it just really scares me. And it's the fear of the unknown. And it's... Why am I talking about this? Nobody wants to hear this. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, I should wrap this up. I think my clothes are... By this point... <coughs> I was recording earlier. And, it, well... That's kind of annoying. I guess I am kind of near the fire station, so that's what that's all about. Wow, that's really annoying. Anyway, um, I was recording when I got back from changing my laundry over, but then the car next to me, the person got in and pulled out, so I had to stop. And I started again, and then another car pulled in right next to me, so I had to stop again. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I should just stick to doing these at home, really. Because there's just way too many factors, you know, outside that make me all awkward and, you know, I feel like I'm more relaxed when I do these at home, you know. Anyway, my laundry by this point now, what I was trying to say is that because of all those interruptions and interferences that my laundry by now should be done. So I should go in there, get it, and and go, this is my last day off for the week. Um, it's back to uh, work again tomorrow already. Um, I've really done nothing these three days. Which is good. It's good. It's. I deserve to relax. I know, but anyway, I've been rambling way too long. I'm gonna shut up. Um, by the time this um, video is uploaded, um, <coughs> Super Contra will be done. Um, 
I don't know if, you know, it was the greatest decision to take a game that could literally be done in one video and split it up into eight. I kind of like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm orderly like that. And that, you know, if, I, if, if there's any game that has certain levels, I can just do one level per video. That's the way I want to do it. You know, but then some of them come off as being like two minutes long, you know. And there's no time to talk about anything, but... Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Um, so, um, coming up next... Uh, I don't know, there's a couple. Um, you know, I'll think about it. it. You know, that's like a week from now that I have to worry about that, so... You know, that's how far in advance I'm, like, getting recording done. I'm, like, way ahead of myself. So, so um, it'll be something, and... Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you then, all right? Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. Um, I'm going to uh, grab my laundry and, and, and get the heck out of Dodge, right? Um, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll see you later.